Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is obviously a very uh, preliminary prototype uh, of a domination box for Paintball, Laser Tag, Millsoft, uh, Air, uh, sorry, uh, Airsoft, Millsim. Uh, I haven't nearly completed it yet, but I've completed the communications between the main processor and the two counterboard processors. Right now there's two counters, they're both red, but one will be blue, one will be red when I have this board this all done one of the LED banks will be uh, red one will, will be blue right now I'm using white and green uh, and I'll have two big LED buttons buttons that are constantly lit up with an, uh, with a power source and an LED internally and that will act as these two buttons right here now what this is is uh, this is a mode selection area there are two dip switches here that choose how fast the timers go up when you're holding down a button for one team and that's implemented we have it so when you're holding down the button the timer or rather the points will go up um, from two seconds apart to five a second right now I've got five a second uh, I've got it in the fastest way so when you hold down the button uh, the points increment really fast uh, but I can switch that, and up on power up, the main processor communicates those values to these two processors, the counterboard processors. This right here is a manual reset, but I'm not using it. It was just for test. Um, obviously, these buttons won't be the buttons used in the end. As I mentioned, I'll have these big, kind of like uh, arcade-based LED buttons. And uh, yeah, so I've got two FET controllers, an audio board that talks to you. I've only got three voice commands right now, but really my biggest goal was to uh, to get communications working for the entire uh, board between uh, the processor, the audio chip, the FETs, and more importantly the counter boards because they have to work back and forth with each other to basically just, just to communicate. So let's power it up. Plug in the 12 volt adapter. You'd use a 12 volt battery. Let's play Domination on the LCD. Again, this is very preliminary. So now it says enter game points now. So I use either of these two buttons. Uh, if I click once, it increments it. If I hold it, it goes to the next digit. So I'm going to program in a value of 23 points. So first team to get to 23 points wins. Game on, it says on the LCD. It'll say something in the speaker as well in the final version, but really, I'm just, it's very preliminary. So, at this point, I have the counter board. If I press the right button and I hold it down. Red team in control. Left, uh, left button. Blue team in control. I can do a manual reset at any time by pressing these two buttons. And that resets the system. The software reset. So next, I'll show you what happens when one team wins, and then I'll end the video. I just want to make a quick sharing video. It'll be a lot more impressive when it's done. So ten points. Enter game points now. Game on. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking up the uh, flashing, but it's really cool because uh, I've programmed in uh, uh, code that pulse width modulates each of these um, LED banks on and off, so making it look like it's uh, brightening and then fading, and then it just blinks them back and forth. And it's really, really, it'd be really, really neat to see these in the dark. Uh, but uh, right now, I'm just doing it in here. Uh, they're very, very bright LED banks. So game on. I'm just going to hold down the uh, right button. Red team in control. And it says, game over. Red team wins. And so basically what will happen is right now I've got a program so that the winning team LED turns on. It says game over, red team wins on the LCD. And this will just continue to blink until I perform a two button reset. Let's play domination. So very preliminary. Uh, I haven't programmed in the delay function yet. And I will, and that will require some LCD programming, some additional LCD programming. And uh, but I've already also I've already got the communication set for the delay function on the board uh, with these dip switches. So what I'm actually going to do, just for fun, is show you the difference in speed. Uh, there are four different selections in speed. I'm going to uh, unplug it just because I can't hardware re software reset at this point, right there. Let's play domination. And I've set the dip switch for time to the slowest. And I'll just program in 
10 points. Game on! So now you'll see if I press a button, Red team in control. it starts counting up very slowly. Blue team in control. We'll get blue team to win this time. Game over. Blue team wins. And again, there will be blue, uh, it'll be a blue LED bank, a red LED bank, red display, blue display, and big blue illuminated button, big red illuminated button. And the counter boards will be different uh, as well. The, uh, the processor board will consolidate the LCD, the main processor, the FETs, the audio chip, and all of the interfaces, uh, all of the interfaces all in one to communicate with the two counter boards. So I'll do a performance says game over, blue team wins. It'll continue to do that until I do a two button reset. I hold down the buttons, let go. Let's play domination. And it resets. So I think that I'll have this available in about a month and a half. I have to uh, do a heck of a lot more programming. Uh, I have to test out the prototypes. I have to remaster the PCBs for the counterboards, because right now I'm using counterboards from my Betty 3.2 modules. Also found at engineeringshock.com and paintballprops.com. Yeah, I'm just using other boards that I've designed for other purposes, and I've essentially reformatted the programming completely for the specific purpose. The only PCBs on here that aren't uh, that aren't for custom purposes were, or rather, they're not in PCB form; they're in prototyping form. Uh, is the delay slash time counter and button board, the reset board which I'm not using, and this board right here uh, which has the FET drivers and an audio amplifier which I haven't implemented. So yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share. Uh, hopefully some of you find it interesting. I'll tell you, I, it's, it's taken a lot of time to program this because I ran, in, ran into a few uh, I.O. problems uh, just because I, I don't have very many I.O.s to work with when you're talking about driving two FETs. Uh, you know, two 12-digit, or sorry, four-digit seven-segment displays, uh, an audio chip that requires several I.O. ports, two buttons, and two dip switches. You know, you, you run out of I.O. ports, so I think I've been pretty creative with it, and I'm not tooting my own horn there. It, it did take some time. It did take some messing around with all of the options here. Anyway, I prattle on. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Check us out at engineeringchalk.com and paintballprops.com. Take care.